morning, everybody. Uh, we are opening up some boxes today. I've been waiting on getting some FPV stuff uh, through numerous different sources. Haven't had the best of luck. Orders got canceled, got money refunded. Today I finally got some things. I decided to go through Amazon after several failed attempts of getting stuff from China. I don't know if it has to do with the whole tariff thing right now or whatever. Uh, I got a lot of emails back from the customers saying that it was customs related. Um, I didn't order anything crazy so that didn't make any sense but we got a couple boxes here today. I'm going to open these up and see what we got. Hopefully something good. First box is This is a less is more tattoo world 1550 mega amp four cell 4.8 volt battery. So we have wire clips, padding, this is the battery. Well, decent sized battery. Four cell taped together. Do not pull. I like how they put it so you have to pull on it to be able to read it. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, so we got a battery. Hopefully, we got a drone. Because I have been waiting on this forever. I've got my remote. You know, two months ago, it's been a little bit of a ridiculous wait. I did have a whole bunch of stuff planned up for this summer, and it just fell through, unfortunately. Let's see what we got in here. Hopefully, something good. Yes! <laughs> we have our Vortex 230 Mojo. Race Freestyle Quad. This is the first Race Freestyle Quad that I have ever bought. This looks cool. This is made by Immersion RC Real Virtual Reality. Package includes Vortex 230 ARF Quad, DSMX, and SVUS cables. 8 times HQ props 5 by 4 30 by 3. Alright. Let's get this thing open. Oh, one more thing. This is the receiver. I had to buy one special for my other remote that I have. Alright. Hmm. I have been waiting on this for a minute. There are a lot of cool things about this. Say Emergent RC makes really good race quads. And for the lower end of it, this isn't one of their top rated ones because they have a lot better ones, but this one is very good. So we're gonna get this opened up here in a second and see what it has. So before we open this real quick, this is a Touch and race integration, beta flight, pre-tuned with air mode and anti-gravity mode, integrated 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter, transmitter, yes, <laughs> transmission, transmitter, HQ prop, high quality prop, Spyro Net 2, stubby included, and this is a D-Shot 600 high performance digital ECS. All specifications on the side. Suitable battery is 4S LiPo, propeller size, 5 inch HQ tri blade, receiver compatibility, PPM slash S bus slash DSMX slash IBUS, video transmitter, 
4.8 gigahertz 40 channel ESC specification 30A wood rotor sense ND shot and te video antenna Spironet V2 Omni stubby <clears throat> the weight UAV without battery 350 grams flight controller is STM 32 F3 gyros 8 gigahertz loop time Required to fly is a 4S LiPo battery, RCX, 5.8 gigahertz RC and display. See the website for details. Anyways, we're gonna open this up and see what is in the box. I have been waiting on this for a minute. Okay, so the top up inside the foam have a set of the DP 5 by 4.3 by 3 V1SB PCs. There are two of these. And there is the drone. Look at that. That is cool. Okay, we have uh, a couple little hardware brackets here, some wires. Get to that in a little bit. Here is the battery wrap, strap holder, whatever you want to call it. Here's our radio stubby. The back, fat shark. And here is and he is in there stuck. I was glued in there for a minute. There is the drone. That is nice. Very nice make. Board to the bottom. Quality control pass sticker. The cameras to the front. The monitor attachment to the back. LED lights. Our motors. These are Rod motor 2206 through 2300 kilovolts. Very nice. This is a good solid design. Very smooth on the carbon fiber finish. Doesn't appear to have any scratches or anything on it. <clears throat> Camera here. Let's look at this cap taken off. There we go, there's the camera on the front. This is also, you can change the positioning on this. Screws on the side, change the angle depending on how everything goes. In here, this is a piece of foam. Like a submersion RC. Little business card there. And they also gave a couple stickers. Okay, this is just the uh, just the unboxing for right now. We're gonna get into the specs and setting everything up a little point in time. I do, however, want to take two quick seconds, which is gonna actually turn out to be like 20 in real time. Let's see what it looks like with the battery on it. There's the lights. So, oh, my Velcro tangled here. This is not the 
ready to fly version. Obviously, I have the radio separate. This is bind and fly, but just want to check this out together and see what it looks like. This is really cool. I like this. I've got quite a few drones. Done a lot of unboxing of little drones. Got the pro grade drones, the little hobby drones, the indoor drones, some of the bigger outdoor ones. I've been wanting to try the FPV thing for a minute. And I finally got one. Really glad I did. There is that. So, out of the box, waiting to be connected, turned on with the props and battery on, is the 230 Mojo by Immersion RC. This little thing looks really neat. I can't wait to finish doing the rest of this stuff, getting them set up, get them out for his test flight. But for right now, this is what we're working with next for our next project right out of the box. I'm really excited about this. This looks really cool and I can't wait to get it going. Thanks for watching.